did I leave that? Questions, questions. Hmm. Oh, here it is. I found it. How can I lose my favorite knife, right? <laughs> silly me. Silly, silly me. Oh, look who's back. Hello, darling. It's good to see you wake up again. For a moment, I have my doubts if you would wake up again. It was just a small moment. I knew that it didn't do that much to you, which would cause you not to wake up ever again. I was actually slightly disappointed when you passed out. I thought you could take more from me. I thought you were more durable than that. With how much pain you've taken for so long, I thought you'd be. I don't even mean just by my hand, also from the others in your life. The others that didn't deserve you. They didn't deserve to ruin you like that. I'm glad I could pick you up and take you away from them. Why do you look so confused, darling? Speak. I undid you of your bindings, yes. I figured we didn't need them for now. Seeing your current state, I'd be surprised if you would get very far would you decide to run. While you were passed out, I covered you with a blanket. I thought you would appreciate that. Your body was quite cold to the touch. It makes sense with all the things I did to you. And with how little you're wearing right now. <laughs> Oh, you look so drowsy, darling. That cute, hazy look on your face. I could eat you up right now. I won't, don't worry. Eating you would mean that there is either less of you or that you'll be gone completely and I cannot have that. What would my life be without you in it? It would be boring and dull. I know that I do a lot of things to you. You might think that I do not care about you, but I do. I care about you more than I've ever cared about anyone. Well, yes, you're right. I've never cared about anyone else, so you're the first. That makes you special, baby girl. My little special darling. I knew that I said that I was a little disappointed. I still am, but I'm also very proud of you. Proud of how well you behave for me. When we play, like today, I can see how scared you are. Especially if I blindfold you. Not being able to see what will come up next must be terrifying. Not knowing what I will do, not knowing what I will grab, not knowing where I will touch and caress your body next. You shiver, you tremble. Sometimes I can see tears escape from your eyes, but you never complain. Is it because you know that complaining makes me angry? Do you do it in the hopes it will be over sooner? Either way, I'm very happy with you. You're my light. I'm your darkness. We complement each other. What's up, sweetness? While you were passed out, I bandaged up some of your wounds. That's probably what you feel. Does it feel comfortable? Does the bandage hurt or the wound? I can imagine that the wound hurts. Cutting wounds are nasty. They sting. 
Sometimes they leave scars. I'm kind of hoping that these will leave scars. I love the idea of you having my name on your body forever. Hey, hey. Hey, it's okay. Shh, 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 shh. Come here, baby, come here. It's okay. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. I'm here for you. Shh, shh, shh. It's okay, baby. Let it out. Let it out, baby girl. Come on. Hey. Shh, shh. Let me dry your tears for you. There. What is it that made you so upset? Pain? The scars? The scars? What about them? My love, look at me. The scars look beautiful on you. They make you even more gorgeous than you already are. You're my one, my only. When I got with you, you were so pure, so perfect. You almost were a blank canvas, one for me to paint, one for me to make my own masterpiece. Every mark you have was made by me, and it looks amazing on you. One day, I want you to mark me as well. To make me yours, so we can both be a work of art. Oh, you're still bleeding. Let me patch that up for you. First, I have to clean it. Sit still, this will sting a bit. Good girl, very good. It's not a deep wound, a simple bandage should do the trick. There we go. Good job. I'm so proud of you, baby girl. <clears throat> well, you look so tired. It was a long session today, wasn't it? You cannot see it in here, but the sun is rising already. What if I bring you back upstairs, huh? Get you out of here? I can warm up the fireplace. I've prepared food for us. We can watch a movie together with cuddles and warm drinks. They can fall asleep and enjoy some rest. Sounds good, right? I thought so too. I can care for you until you fall asleep. I've also put new sheets on your bed too, and I washed your clothes. Only the best things for you, darling. All right, let's get you up. Careful, careful, careful. I don't want you to pull any of your stitches apart, okay? Speaking of, I saw that those were healing nicely already. I'm happy to see that. I think I can take them out in a week or two. Sounds good, right? Yeah, I thought so. Are you steady? All right, let's go. Let's get you out of here. <laughs> 